So what I'm going to show you is the difference between the smoothing preview and the smoothing mesh function in Maya. To set this one up, I've just put down some very basic polygons and I'm going to go through each one and I'm going to compare the smoothing preview to the actual smoothing uh, process under the mesh. So I'm going to start off now. I can put the smoothing preview on by just clicking an object and pressing three. It's actually also possible within the shape is under this here. You can actually see smooth mesh and you can actually see a smooth mesh preview here. So if you actually click on that, that can also do exactly the same thing. Uh, if you actually do cage as well, you can actually see the original shape. So in Maya, what's happening is although you've got a smooth preview, it's only telling you what it would look like if you smoothed it. You'll notice that you can't actually undo the actual smooth properly. So you see I can control Z as much as I like and it's not going to get rid of that. And that's because this has been done using this kind of F3 smooth preview. So it hasn't actually changed the physical model. It has just created an effect for you to see if it's worth smoothing it. Now, obviously here, we've got the subdivision levels one as well, which you can also play around with, but I'm not gonna look at that at the moment. So, gonna finish smoothing all of these. And what we have now, you can actually see um, smoothing a cube and smoothing, obviously, this uh, other type of polygon here. Um, that actually gives you pretty much two very identical shapes. So now I'm going to show you what happens when you properly smooth something. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to select it. I'm going to go up into mesh. And I'm going to come down to smoothing and I'm going to actually bring up the dialogue. Now you'll find that normally this is set to one. And if I now press smooth, it's kind of turned it into a bit of a teardrop shape. You can see how these two polys are very similar now, but they're not quite as smooth as each other. In fact, if I bring it across, you'll see they don't fit inside each other. However, I'm going to actually solve that now just by undoing that to it's a cone. I'm gonna go back into my mesh smoothing. This time I'm actually gonna set it to two. Then I'm gonna smooth it. And you can see this time that these have become almost identical. In fact, if I slot them together, they pretty much match each other perfectly. And the same can be said for every single one of these. If I set it to two and smooth it, set it to two and smooth it. And then again, mesh smooth. And there we go. You can see now that these are actually pretty much identical all the way along to their smooth preview counterpart. And the idea behind that is obviously that you've locked it in. You'll see as well that the big difference is if I go up to edit, and I actually delete all by type and get rid of the non-deformer history. The actual mesh does not change. And you can actually see if you compare them, this has still got its original shape in the background. This one doesn't, it's been fully transformed. Now from here, I can do different things. I could remesh it if I wanted to. And it just adds loads more uh, polys to it, but I don't see the need in doing that at the moment. On top of that, if I actually go and delete all of its uh, non-deformer history, uh, in the future, that's basically going to be locked like that. So basically, I've changed it. Um, I've changed. I've basically removed all of its past. It no longer knows that it was ever a cylinder. And that's it, really. That's the big difference between smoothing using the, the number three, basically using a smooth preview, and actually properly smoothing. Just remember clicking the number three is just to give you an idea what it will look like when you've smoothed it. It doesn't actually smooth it. To do that, you head up into mesh and you properly do the smoothing function.